Hello! So, we're going to do a very quick short series of five tips for the kind of current situation we find ourselves in the world right now with coronavirus, with so many more of us staying at home. And uh, so the first of this series is about solo language learners. So I feel like either there's people out there who maybe you're watching this and you've got all this time where you're not at work and you're at home and you're thinking, I want to use this time productively, let's learn a language in this time. Or maybe you are studying a language at school, at college, at university, and now you're at home, how do you keep going? So this video is for you, if that describes you. But before we dive in, I just want to let you know, I have a free language learner isolation kit. You can download this at the link in the description below and you can get access to everything. There's resources, there's links to all sorts of useful free stuff and it's all, it's just there to help to support you at this time. So this is five tips to keep learning a language in self-isolation. Tip number one, routine and habits. So it's very, very easy when you're inside and you suddenly feel like, okay, well, maybe I could do this, and maybe I could do that and this and that and all of these like over possibilities almost because we're suddenly positioned in that way. And it can be slightly overwhelming, weirdly. You sort of get this cabin fever. I don't know, it's, it's weird to describe. So one way to help to combat that would be to try and get some kind of routine going, make a habit of language learning so that it becomes part of your daily routine very, very easily if it's not already. And that's gonna help you to just keep things ticking over during this these strange times. Tip number two, small daily goals. There's no point right now going in and overly ambitious for this. Yes, it could be that you have like eight hours a day that you can devote to language learning right now, cool, but chances are you probably also want to like do other things and do things that you wouldn't normally have time for and exercise indoors and cook meals that you wouldn't normally have time to cook you know what I mean so don't feel like you have to devote all your time to language learning if you're setting a small daily goal something that you can be achieving continually that's going to be much more effective than saying right whole day of language learning that's just gonna to lead to burnout and boredom. So go with those small daily goals. You can extend, you can definitely do more than that, but start by setting smaller goals rather than big hefty ones. Tip number three, don't rely too heavily on digital stuff. When we're indoors, it can feel like the internet has all the answers. We have this magical device in our hands and doo -doo 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 -doo, we can learn everything and anything, right? But if you're relying too heavily on digital and then all of your like language learning is digital, all of your free time stuff is digital because that's when you're watching stuff, all of your work time if you're having to still work from home is digital because you can only work online right now, it's going to be overload. So use this as a chance to get back to your books and get back to writing on pen and paper and you know, kind of getting quite tactile again with language learning. Use this as a great chance to expand beyond just digital stuff. Tip number four, but there's one thing that you can't do without a screen right now and that is have a language lesson. So make sure that you, if you, if you want language lessons right now, book online lessons. There's plenty of you know, websites like italki where you can find tutors. There's also plenty of independent online language tutors out there who will really appreciate you wanting to learn with them right now because you know small businesses are the ones that are going to suffer throughout this. So you know if you can support those independent language teachers then do so. There is a directory in the uh, free language learner isolation kit of online language teachers that I like kind of did a little shout out in my Teach Languages Online Facebook group and they're all the people that got back to me. So there's a huge directory of like, I think it's like 13, 14 different languages. So do take a look at that. And tip number five, use this time to explore beyond the language. Like I said, if you're going for like eight hours a day, solid study, books, websites, all of that, it's gonna be kind of heavy. You have this time to explore as much as you can inside, right? So obviously you can't travel to a place to kind of practice or to learn more about a language or a culture right now, but you can kind of travel within your home. So maybe that means cooking a dish from that region. Maybe that means learning a dance from that region, using YouTube videos to teach you how to do that stuff. Maybe it means learning a skill or learning how to play like a song from that place on an instrument if you're musical. All of these things, 
help you to kind of expand and to go beyond and to embrace the culture alongside the language itself. And I'm posting things on my Instagram right now, things to keep you busy if you're learning French, Spanish, Korean, Japanese, all of those languages. There's food, there's blogs and websites, there's podcasts, there's music, all of that stuff. So do take a look over there. It's Lindsay Does Language on Instagram if you want more ideas. And like I mentioned at the beginning, there's the free Language Learn Isolation Kit if you want to kind of really make the most of this time. There's resources, there's that tutor directory, all sorts of stuff to keep you busy. You can get that at the link in the description below. And let me know, I'd love to know how you are making the most of this time and how you're using your time well to stay sane <laughs> while we stay at home. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe here for regular language learning videos and I will see you very soon. All right, thank you, bye.